Hi guys, once again this is Chase Green Mister of the Blue Show and I'm here with Leroy Hoxton. Leroy is the guy responsible for all or almost all the Juicy Sports content and more that you see on AssassinRadio.com. Yeah. Leroy, how are you doing? I'm great, I'm great. Yeah, you have a topic for me to discuss. Yeah, so we started a, a mini series a while ago on whether footballers are being overworked or not and I thought it's fitting to let you also tell your two cents. James, you know you know the answer already. <laughs> Footballers are being overworked. With the, uh, especially, let me just say, especially the European footballers. I can't say for, uh, let's say, uh, South America. America, Asia, Africa, but for the European footballers, they are being overworked. Nations League, Euros, Olympics, um, and then a new Champions League format, which is adding additional things just so that uh, UEFA can make a little bit more money. Just so that UEFA can make a little bit more money. It's not good for the player, especially for the players. Um, look at what happened to Rod- Rodri just recently. And in- injuries are just going to become more frequent as time goes on. And if you want to see the evidence of players being overweight, look no further than a well-rested Ellen Haller. He is totally dominating. He's had, he didn't have to participate in yes. the Euros. He didn't have to participate in the Olympics. He didn't have to participate in any major international tournament. He's so just he just has been, Yeah, he's been well-rested. Not saying that uh, that's the only reason why he's on fire, but you have to admit that it is one of the key reasons for why he's been able to dominate so far this season. And I believe that it's something we are going to continue to see. Uh, as the season again, as I said, it goes on. The players are just going to continue getting injured, and it's not going to be something that's it's not going to be good for them. Look at Mourinho training injury. It's it's some. It's not just going to be seen. I heard Mbappe that. also got injured yeah, um, so, yesterday or this morning. Yeah, so it's it's not it's something that there needs to be something that is done. I heard that the players are considering going on a strike, but I don't know how feasible that is going to be, and if. All the players are going to be for it. It depends on how Fifth, fifth Pro goes about it. I feel it's been one of the most useless organizations, but it depends on what Fifth Pro decides. But the players are just overworked, and I think it's time for the world to look at it and say, okay, I think these guys have many too many games. How many months of rest do they currently have? And think about it. They're going to. There's also going to be a newly revamp club, club world, world cup. cup and then there's still the pre-season that you have to do for commercial reasons and the fact of the matter is it's not about the, the well-being of the players it's not about making the game more enjoyable it's all about making more money and yes it's so annoying <laughs> that's the thing it's just so annoying i know money is very important for football in terms of how making the sport go and all that but the fact that these guys are just doing it just so they can make a little bit more money just irritates me it really does because f- football is one of the biggest uh, uh, sports in the world. It makes a lot of money. Uh, I know they want to say that, well, at least uh, uh, sports like the NFL does makes more money because, and they are only f- based in America. But that shouldn't be excuse for you to put your players in jeopardy. Because think about it. Some of these players, this is the only thing they know how to do. This is the only thing they know how to do. And we so know how many dependents you can have, especially yeah. from this part of the world. So one age, one age could ruin their lives forever. Hey, do you see the video of, is it Danny Drinkwater? He now uh, is doing construction or something uh, after his career didn't really go anywhere. Oh, well. So he's happy. I, I'm trying yeah. to say that he's happy. But that's basically it. He had something to fall back on. What if these players don't have anything to fall back? What are they going to do with their lives? Not, not everybody is going to be lucky like Flamini and become a billionaire after football. You get it? Yeah. So it, something has to be done. And I think, I don't know what exactly the solution is, but all I know is uh, the players are playing too many games. And FIFA, Fifth Pro, UEFA, all of them need to come together and be like, okay, we have to figure this out so that we do not have these players and ruining their lives just because of the sport they love. True that. I mean, you're talking about players who have things to fall back on and yeah. 
for every good example, there are bad ones. Um, for gas point. Thank you. Yeah. The most classic example. Yeah. Adriano. Yeah. So it's not, it's not, it's not a good thing. It's not really not. I feel like uh, 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 these players. That's why somebody will say that some of these players go to school also while also playing football because, because, you, never know. Again, because you never know what happened yeah. uh, some of them even decide to take up coaching courses so that in case of anything they, they stay in the uh, game or, uh, is, is it, who, who is it was it Patsy Daka one Leicester City player Daka the heart issue yes yeah. so because of that yeah. now he's a coach yeah. Leicester has taken him as a coach so um, yeah I, I think there was one guy playing for Stoke as well who yeah. had a similar had one of these Senegalese players that kept playing for Stoke. I can't remember. Like I, I know you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, there, there, there are so many examples. And then there's the Fabrice yeah. Mamba. Yeah. There are so many examples of these players who have who don't really have anything. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's it's we can also look at Kalo, is it Kalo Torre who recently went. Uh, uh, lost all his money and had to. Is it called Ibuwe? Ibuwe, 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 yeah. Yeah, Manuel Ibuwe. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> Look, the players, players bring bring us a lot of joy. They can also bring us heartache mm. and all that. But they give us a range of emotions that we love. And I feel like we are taking them for granted. We are like, oh, we are getting more football matches. Oh, we are getting uh, 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 more. Of, we get to see more of them. Invested, they are making a lot they have of more to invest in. Yeah, they, they they are earning a lot of money. So who really cares if they are playing? But they are human as well. They need they need to be able to live their lives. They are taking a huge risk playing this sport. They could get extremely injured, ruin their lives forever. That's why they are even paid a lot of money anyways. And added to the fact that they really entertain and bring a lot of sponsors and all that they, uh, they entertain us a lot so look again i'm just going to reiterate it something needs to be done the fifa the fifth pro needs to do its damn job i, I hope i can say it down <laughs> fifth pro needs to do its damn job and fight for the the well-being of footballers because i can't i don't really see what they are doing i can see they complain and complain and but something needs to be done. Something needs to change so that these players can uh, entertain us without uh, uh, basically ruining their lives. That's all. Yeah. Leroy, one of us ambitions. And um, any final words before we wrap this video up? And then whilst we are wrapping the video up, to how do you expect people to contact you on social media? Again, final word. Fifth Pro, do your damn job and get these guys <laughs> something so that they do not hurt themselves right now we've not really seen a lot of injuries going on but we can we've, we've seen a number but we are not we are not going to say okay it has increased so much until the end of the season but do we have to wait until the end of the season to be like okay injuries have gone up by 30 percent so that means we must do something about it i feel we need to do something about it now because the players have played too many games and someone like lamin yamao he's a generational talent talent what happens if he gets a career-ending injury because of this? Are you going to be saying say that, oh, well, that is it. He's, it's over. Fifth Pro needs to do his job. Anyways, my name is Leroy Hoxon again. Uh, you can get me on the press, the press box. That is L-E-P-R-E-S-B-O-X. The press box, sorry. The press box on all social media platforms. Thank you. Before I come in with my social media handle, you were talking about Lamau, yeah, Lamau, Lamau being a generational talent. Yeah, you and I have supported clubs that had generational talent have their careers cut short. Yeah. Jack Rocha for you, yeah. Tom Cleverly for me. Yeah, so, I, I would even say Ravel Morrison. Charlie, be there, but I'm just playing. <laughs> but yeah, the proof is unfortunately in the pudding. Yeah, one bad injury and that's, that's it. it. That's it. That's it. Guys, and, this is just very of the Blue Show. You can find the Blue Show on Facebook. LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, and on threads at the Blue Show, the Blue Show 3690. You can find Jay on the same platform and TikTok as well at Jay's Great Pizza or JB3690. It's been a pleasure once again bringing this video to you. There will be at least one more to wrap this series on whether footballers are being overworked or not. 
and please tell me has there is anybody saying anything else nobody is saying anything else <laughs> on video but some people are having different opinions on uh Office. social media up there so let's see let's see we can continue changing people up and get some some reactions the next video will be with the ruler himself echo slv of assassin radio so guys watch out for it bye